So, in today's news, Justin Thomas is making waves for using a, quote, anti-gay slur after missing a putt in a tournament of champions, specifically at Number three golfer in the world, Justin Thomas, is apologizing for, quote, yelling faggot after missing a putt in Hawaii tourney. Now, the, the, the title there is a little bit misleading. I say a little. It seems like all of them are a little misleading now that I think about it. So this one is, like, anti-gay. This one is, uh homophobic that one's technically true but this one says yelling so to give a little bit of context it's currently the final hole of the tournament of champions he is currently putting from the rough now if you don't get it allow me to explain putting from the rough is a term to describe homosexual anal sex here he is putting from the rough and he continues to miss the hole. The anticipation's building, the whole audience, a whole crowd, everyone's just waiting for him to put it in the hole. And he just can't for whatever reason. He just can't seem to muster it today. And when he finally does, he just, he sits there and he, he doesn't yell. He whispers to himself. <laughs> just under his breath, like in, in the self-flagellation. He's like, the whole time he's probably thinking, dude, I, I, I'm putting from the rough and I can't get it in the hole. His brain is just like. Don't think it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't think 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 it. Don't say it. Putting from the rough, everyone knows what's going on. Now, obviously, it's not the polite thing to say. You definitely shouldn't say it on national television. Definitely wasn't the smart move, but the way they're treating it, the, especially this headline, is like, he's yelling faggot after missing it. No, he didn't. He whispered it to himself. We've got the microphone stuffed up his ass, and you could hear everything he's thinking, basically. And, he, and like, under his breath, so imperceptible, you couldn't even see his lips move. He just goes, faggot. And... And now he has to apologize. Now his career is probably going to be taking a fucking hit. Number three in the world, by the way. Now, if you're offended by what he said, I get it. Look, if he'd yelled nigger instead of faggot, I would probably be offended too. But think about this. If you're offended right now, you probably just don't get it. You don't get the five head level of just how fucking funny this guy is. Let, let's hear his apology. Honestly, I thought the apology was meh. It's kind of mid-tier. Justin is joining us now. How would you explain what happened on the golf course? It's inexcusable. Uh, I, I, first off, I just apologize. I mean, uh, it's... You know what I also like about this? It's like the way that they're spinning it towards the end there. It's like, what are you going to learn from this experience? What have you learned? I know it's been exactly 7.3 seconds since you said faggot on national television, but tell us, how have you bettered yourself in that time so that we could get right on back to playing some golf? <laughs> Honestly, it, it's like, I get it. I get why you might be upset if you're like... If you're just a normal gay guy who just happens to like golf, like, I don't know, do, do gay guys like golf? I'm sure plenty of gay guys like golf. You're just sitting there minding your business, and you're watching like, damn, dude, I can't wait for Justin to make this. And he goes, faggot. I mean, he didn't yell it, <laughs> but but I could just imagine that. I was like, oh, fuck, that just ruined my day. Dude, I was having a good time watching this golf, and then you reminded me that people don't like gays. <laughs> All right, and on top of that, if you're over there, if you're one of the viewers, been like, oh, dude, you keep saying the F word. Dude, the F word is not acceptable. Eh. But, no. I don't know, how many dicks you gotta suck before you're allowed to say faggot? If I let my girlfriend peg me, <laughs> could I say it? <laughs> or does it have to be a real dick? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, let's check out another article. Oh, yeah, so like I was saying, how they were calling it, like, a homophobic slur, an anti-gay slur. It, it's not like in his mind he's like, you know what, dude, two dudes fucking mashing their taters? Nah, man, that ain't it. You know what? Not only do I not support you mashing them taters together, you two fellas, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you down on national television. It, it's not that. It was a little fucking Freudian slur. Probably the whole time, every time he goes on the fucking, every time he's putting from the rough... <laughs> Every time Justin Thomas is putting from the rough, he just thinks, ah, oh, geez, I'm such a fag. <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, and in case you really aren't aware, putting from the rough. Oh, yeah, I, I just watched a YouTube video on how to putt from the rough. <laughs> For whatever reason, Urban Dictionary's site is down today, but... Putting from the rough, the act or preference of anal sex. 
usually associated with homosexuals. Look, man, I don't care if you're putting from the rough. There are solid arguments. <laughs> I wish I could read the rest of that. But yeah, probably every time he's putting from, every time Justin Thomas is putting from the rough, he just, in the back of his mind, he's like, God, I'm such a fag. <laughs> I, I bet there's probably like a highlight reel of Justin Thomas. Oh yeah, that was, that's my YouTube creator studio. Justin Thomas, after his excellent approach shot, ran all the way toward the back of the green for birdie. You, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Yeah, he's got, like, a running history of this. I mean, obviously, it's his first fucking... This is not his first F-bomb, guys. Dude, I can't believe it. He said fuck, and then he said fag. He said, you bitch, pussy, nigga, Jew. He said all of them. All the words you can't say. What the fuck? Why do I have ads? Dude, I don't, I don't pay top dollar. I don't pay eleven ninety nine YouTube for you to fucking... All right, well, that's pretty much everything I've got for this one. Be sure to like if you like it, dislike it, dislike it. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe if you're interested in this type of, I don't know, I guess, news coverage. It's mostly just me mocking what's going on in the news, making a couple of yokes. Uh, if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and drop a subscribe. Otherwise, fuck off. I don't really care. Nah, I'm just kidding. Have a good day. Peace.